Hi, I'm Chad, and you're watching Square Body Stuff. What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're hanging out in the shop, working on a little 339 stroker still yet. Showman's here, my youngest son, just hanging out. We got Big Tex holding the floor down. That's his new favorite spot. It's out of the way and nice and cool, kinda ish. It's kinda hot in the shop. So we've got fans going and I'm not gonna turn them off because yeah, it's it's bad enough. So I'm gonna leave them on. You're just gonna have to kind of put up with that in the background noise. But what we're gonna be doing in this video is I wanna try to figure out or I wanna try to show you guys uh, the effect of push rod length on your overall valve lift. Now what I've got set up here is I've got the adjustable push rod installed here with the rocker arm. It's set at zero lash. And I've got my dial indicator. Yeah, this old guy, he's, he's seen a rough life. He still works good, just looks a little rough. Uh, I've got that set up on top of the uh, valve spring retainer. Got it zeroed out. So with the stock length push rod, which is this what that's what this engine ended up needing. So we're gonna start there. That should be your optimum valve train geometry. So let's see what our lift is with that. And then we'll go one way or the other, shorten it and then lengthen it. And I'll probably go with uh, lengthen or shorten and lengthen like 50 thousandths or maybe go 100 thousandths, just kind of a big swing. So it's a little more, you get a little better idea of how much it affects your uh, valve lift. Let's spin this thing over and see what kind of lift we have. If I remember I just right around 535, 0.535, somewhere around there. Oh, I done missed it. Let's go back around. I was talking. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five hundred thousandths. Try to bump it a little bit. Yeah, right at five hundred thirty-five thousandths. All right, I'll come back to baseline or base circle on the cam now i'll adjust the push rod i will take 50 or 100 thousandths off of it i'll make it a 100 thousandths shorter so it'll be a seven seven inch seven hundred thousandths so yeah we'll see what that does with the valve lift all right i have shortened that push rod by a hundred thousandths so or seven uh seven seven hundred let's roll it over and see what it does There's five, thirty, and about five thirty-four. That didn't really affect it that much. So I wasn't really sure what it was gonna do. I I had my guesses that it might uh, make more of a difference than what it did, but uh, let's go the other way. Let's add a hundred thousandths to the stock link. So we'll be at seven, nine hundred and do the same thing and see if it affects anything. Okay, now this is with the push rod at seven, nine hundred plus one hundred thousandths over stock length. Let's see what it does. We'll roll this thing over. It really didn't change. We're at 534, so yeah, it's. I didn't see any change. Maybe a thousandth here, a thousandth there. It really didn't affect the uh, overall uh, lift. If it did, it's not. It's not uh, worth it. It, does, it doesn't really matter because 
you don't want your push rod too long or too short you want it right in the middle but yeah all right so this is just a little fun little video just to try something out i i didn't know what to expect i've never really checked this before uh, this is not a MythBuster type thing. I'm not trying to debunk anybody else's videos. I've never watched anybody else's videos or really heard of any talk about this. I mean, I guess I've heard talk about it that it, it affects your overall lift. But I thought I'd try it out uh, live action with you guys and just show you what I found out. Uh, I mean, as far as I know, there's I didn't have any variables. The only variable was the push rod length. Uh, it was always said back to zero lash and dial indicator stayed right where it was the whole time so I don't know, it the the length of the push rod doesn't really affect your overall uh, lift of your valve I hope you guys learned something I did because you know like I said this is something I've never really tried myself never taken the time just to really figure it out because I just worry about push rod length and it is what it is at that point uh, as far as valve lift but I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can kind of keep up on what I'm doing here. Uh, check out my playlist. I've got a whole playlist on this little small block Chevy 339 Strucker. Uh, so go check out what I'm doing with that if you're new to the channel. Uh, hit that join button next to the subscription button. Uh, subscription button. I can't say that word very good. Uh, check out the membership. Uh, any little bit you can do would help. I, I joke with my wife. I said if I could just convince all of my subscribers to donate 99 cents and join up uh, I can quit my day job she can quit her day job we can both quit our day jobs and just do YouTube full-time but uh, yeah and that's because you guys all you guys subscribe and you know where my subscriber count is I can't I never thought I'd make it that far but anyhow I'll let you guys go thanks for watching until next time y'all keep your square bodies rolling we'll catch you later